In 2004, Tony was hosting a breakfast show for Classic Gold, a commercial oldie station. Uh, very good morning, nice to have you with us. It's now uh, 20 minutes past seven. And trouble was brewing. It was a lovely sunny morning, I played summer holiday. And all the listeners rang in, or loads of listeners rang in, saying how lovely it was to hear him. Tony had made a controversial choice because the station had banned Cliff Richard records from their playlist. He, in very typically dad form, took absolutely no notice of what he was told to do and continued to play Cliff Richard tracks. You know, I just wanted reasons for why I couldn't play it. Nobody could give them to me, so I played them. Bossy sent Tony a final warning. Stop playing Cliff or else. He printed the email out, he tore it up live on the radio, threw it across the studio into the bin and played another Cliff Richard record. Tony was taken off air. It was dubbed the ultimate rock and roll rebellion. The veteran DJ, Tony Blackburn, was suspended from his breakfast radio show after a row about Cliff Richard. It was even discussed in Parliament. Can I say, Mr Speaker, that the leader of the Commons is right behind Tony Blackburn uh, in his choice of music? This event that happened on local radio actually became a national cause, a cause celeb, in a way. Following the outcry, Tony was eventually reinstated and went back to doing what he loves best. Tony just loves that microphone in front of him. If he could sit in front of it 24 hours a day, he would. To Tony, the microphone is like an umbilical cord. He takes it everywhere with him, probably takes it to bed with him. I mean, I've heard of rock and roll rebels, but yeah. the hideous crime of playing a Cliff Richard record <laughs> <laughs> doesn't seem quite up there with the Sex Pistols, you know? Yeah. But it was quite a stand you made, wasn't it? You are obviously just yeah. a bit incensed that they were banning Cliff for no really good reason. Well, it struck me as being rather stupid, being on a 60s, 70s and 80s station, and Cliff Richard's had over 100 hit records, not to be playing Cliff Richard. And when, so, it, when it all blew up and became yeah. this huge thing with Parliament debating it and so on, <laughs> what were you thinking? Well, I thought it's gone a bit further than I thought it would, to be absolutely honest with you, when they're standing up in Parliament, but uh, at the same time, I got my own way in the end. He must have been incredibly grateful. Did, did he send you anything? Well, he, <laughs> he sent me um, a thank you card and a half a bottle of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was, uh, but I mean, I didn't ask. You know, he didn't ask me to stand up he for saved him. Saved Cliff Richard's career, and he couldn't even buy you a whole well, bottle. Yeah, well, it's, it was very nice, though.